I was messaging my die buddy James, seeing if we could put a, together a uh, scooter die for today. And he says, no, dude, I'm working the boat. So and he said, why don't, why don't you come join me? So I did. And uh, beautiful day out in the boat with Kohala divers. Uh, conditions were incredible as they usually are on the west side. Uh, I love their boat. Really cool logo there on the side that I, I wanted to share. Right out of the harbor, we spotted dolphins, had a bunch on the bow, and I, I really took interest in this one riding the wake in the back of the boat. As soon as I dropped down, I got a visit from my favorite butterfly fish, the raccoon butterfly fish. All these four large peacock groupers hanging out and thought maybe there was something going on like a hunting party. Never did figure it out. And then right at the end of shooting some video, I got photobombed by a millet butterfly fish. So I went and included them as well. This is James and Kevin. They were part of our group. One of them asked me to videotape and the other seemed quite surprised. A rather large frogfish hanging out here. These fish were hanging out in that point. Didn't quite understand why they were all hanging out like that, so I thought I'd include it. And starfish. Oval butterfly fish. There's a pair of them being rather photogenic. I like to shore dive this site as well because of this. You always find these turtles getting cleaned by tropical fish. Typical Hawaii scene. I believe this is the crab I normally find in antler coral, but he's just hanging out, out on the ledge inside a cave. There's a lot of underwater caves in Hawaii. All these old lava tubes and fish love to hang out there. And you can see all these ones, they running into another part of the lava tube. There's a big nudibranch hanging out in a cave, and then another smaller example of the same species. There's a cowrie shell, a tiger cowrie shell. What's interesting about this is if you look behind it, you can actually see a reticulated cowrie shell as well. Kind of neat to have them in the both in the same scene. So this video almost didn't make the cut. There's a, a shrimp you might not be able to see that I was going to uh, videotape, and then the fish just stirred up all the water. But if you look up in the roof that I didn't see till I was editing, you can actually see it's called a 7-Eleven crab. They have these distinctive purple spots up there in the ceiling of the, the cave. This is a slipper lobster. Uh, James found it for me. And banded shrimp. Um, one of the better scenes I've gotten of them. This one's a good, good large, large example, and uh, uh, well out in the open. I've always been told that flame angelfish are a fairly rare fish. You can see one there, and then, and then another one a little bit to the right, and then at the very end of the scene, you'll see a third one. So maybe they're not so rare anymore. This is a male spotted boxfish. Oh, they're fairly common. Um, I don't usually include them in my video, but I thought this was a good sample. I always find it odd when an eel just seems to randomly stick out of a solid piece of rock. I'm going to end the video on this scene. It's a, it's a pipefish. It's not the best video in the world, but it is the first pipefish I've ever found, found on my own. So thanks for watching.